There's a debut. The Yankees are here. And Parker right on time at 6.45, and it's in. Checking in at 2.41 of 20 games in a row. So helping to set the table for Soto and Judge to follow. In the Bronx, game and a half lead on the Orioles in the AL East. That's down and in. Dan, you go. No. Oh, wow. He, that was close. It was close. Two balls, one. Just kind of throwing this out there. The umpiring crew tonight, Bolino, Cuzzy, Randazzo, and Tosa. <laughs> no Yankees fans. No, no. Three balls and one strike. Labor will take it. And I think you can tell by the noise, there are a ton of Yankee fans. And for Torres is 12th. Next up is Juan Soto. That's the noise. Juan Soto. I love it when the, you can tell when a team, when a person means something to the person Juan is. I got goosebumps. That was a goosebump moment. No matter how many times you... Juan, by the way, he's nearing a milestone himself, sitting on 197. is amazing. Batting average, on base percentage, homers, RBIs. They're one and two and sits. Zim, how'd you like to have that guy hitting behind you? Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, it's guys. When I, Barry Bonds hit behind me, it was amazing. Saw a lot of pitches. <laughs> <laughs> well, to protect him. No, it just happened. I think there's an injury or five. Parker outside, 2-2, and you hope that start given to the Yankees. And we mentioned keeping the ball in the yard by the starters lately. This is a different animal they're facing tonight. It is a different animal, but it, it's the timing of it, too, right? He went up against the Phillies when they had been struggling. They were rolling, and he absolutely dealt on them. So it just... Finding his way, getting ahead, getting in that groove early. When counts the big leagues, not good. So get ahead and finish. 3-2 now. Monsoto has 19 more walks than strikeouts. Well, I think the other part, too, with Aaron Judge, you almost feel like as the, the guy, you're going, oh, this is it's BP right here. You don't want to say it. Off speed, smothered by Kate Barrett Ruiz. Second in batting average, first with first, you name it, total basis. Judge is doing it. Speed gets him to roll it over. Tana, Vargas, and the Nets will go around the horn. Out of a situation, you get Homer, walk, and then what do you do? Stay in the zone, good splitter, nice play. My nerves a little bit. Hopefully get this next guy up and then settle in. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos Stanton. Against the Nats career, 37 homers, 88 runs batted in. Ryan got really hard. Yeah, yeah it's really something. You had a John Carter. 23 and driven in 57. Go Judge and Stanton have combined to walk 321 times this year. Well, that's what these teams, and those are the teams that make it hard for young pitching staffs. Ones that don't expand, they, they do that. And if you throw balls, all of a sudden it's the fourth inning and you got 95 pitches and then puts the, you know, puts you in. And this one to the right side for Andres Chaparro. Missing the connection on the throw, but the inning was over. Oh, I think you know who's hitting one, two, three tonight. Down there at the bottom, Jacob Young coming alive. Last 13 games. And the Nash trying to do something with 29-year-old Nestor Cortez. He'll make his 27 start. Even in third innings, we're going to have 142 hits, so the hits have come down. The strikeout's still pretty high for him. It's enough. Abrams did not hold. Alex Tosi calls it. things together now. As we get into this last week of August, it's been a scuffle for the last six weeks. Against a guy like Nestor Cortez, I'll let Ryan get into it more, but like righties, right center field's huge, and lefties, you got to bring too much. Yep. A guy like this, you almost have to simplify it. Dumb it down. Try and take singles. And when you try and hit singles. Mm -hmm.
That's inside to Dylan, whose numbers were great. 270, some power, some speed. Cruz halfway to second by the time that ball's caught. Two down, not a bad swing. Um, put a good swing on it. Here's the Yankees, David Verdugo, Judge, and Soto of the outfield. Good arms all the way around. Everyone's got some assists out there. Not right side, Austin Wells behind the plate. Well, they can get D.J. LeMay, who started offensively. Well, the big thing is going to be their pitching. I think offensively, they have so many dynamic hit geared out, and they have an ace. So you're good. Yeah. Only Cleveland has a lower ERA in the American League than the Yankees' three. So he was a Rocky. One ball, one strike. Yankees only 26 and 32. But Aaron Boone, the former Nat, his team has won nine of their last 15, and the pitch of the Nats will go. One, two, three, and the Yankees on the Taurus homer at the lead. For the second, it's Austin Wells, the catcher. Up and in, he's hitting in the two. Volpe, the shortstop, and a guy we know, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Isn't Nick Johnson? <laughs> Who's in that Yankee uniform? He'd look a lot like the babe. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, right into the Yankee wow. dugout, right down the stairs. That was in there? Yeah. His 105th of the year in his 125th inning. I hope this challenge fast. Home run, walk, double play. A little soft contact liner, and then right away get that strikeout. Nice job by Mitchell. Your pitches. Hey. Breaking ball dropped in well to the three of their 56 stolen bases. Yeah, Yankees and stolen bases in the same sentence. <laughs> Getting into a rhythm with K. Barrett right now. One ball, one strike. This maybe it's, a, it's something that they talked about in the dugout. Not completely change who you are but let, take your time that's throwing three lefties at the Yankees in this series Corbin and Gore to follow pretty darn good at bat up, up top but they brought him back down one heck of a defender though Cole Glover there at shortstop the Yankees are only 18 and 16. Two over. Nats are two under. Not enough carry on it for James Wood to challenge it. And the Yankees have their second base hit. And he goes even farther down. But Anthony Volpe doing a good job. Dropped the head on it. Get the foot down early. Well, here's Jazz. So in 17 games, he's driven in 12 runs, seven homers, and hitting. I remember Mitchell right here with Anthony Volpe. He loves to dance out there at first. Like what you see, a lot of guys. 23 out of 28th, 10th most steals in the American. That just told me that Mitchell was. So in sync right there because you watched him look right at Volpe. Volpe did the bounce. He's like, okay. Forget about the hitter here. I think the most important thing is just getting the hitter. Right. The door. Nice. Jazz career against the Nets. I was surprised. with the young guys what they're trying to reiterate the misses like, where are your misses know where your misses are maybe just a little bit Mitchell's one of those guys want the miss being more off the plate than it is making contact with that pitch down and away first base occupied no need for a throw two down early in the game I mean the curveball 
is going to be huge for him tonight. And so far, I think he he feels that way too. Some sort of uh, weakness, you have to exploit it. Now, I chased a heck of a lot more than you ever did in your your career. This is way this is way off the plate, <laughs> and you still can't you can't stop your swing. Two. Yeah, he he broke he broke thinking that Volpe had, was taken off because he saw the bounce. And of our time, who handles the bat better? Well, I mean, you got to wonder too if he was stealing. I guess CJ is playing one baseman at home because DJ hits the ball to the right side. Probably one of the most in the entire league, I would Absolutely. imagine. Or against the Nets. Were you surprised the first time you played against Mayhew to realize how big he? Because he's though? enormous. <laughs> Man, could you just like go to your knees real quick here? <laughs> maybe, maybe feel tall. <laughs> Multiple Dude. Denver back in the yeah. day. Ooh. Rangy. O2. Great job of having him lunging. Parker getting over. Oh, the ball was dropped. Bases loaded, two outs. And it kind of looked like. A little bit. He's falling off towards that side, so you kind of expect it, right? Big, long, and he's fine. He just got to catch it. Well, lately, the Nats have been averaging an error per game over the last three weeks. Obviously, probably pretty upset about, about what just happened, but get them refocused, make a pitch. Damon Glaber Torres. Oh, he's taking away outs on the base. You just can't have to beat him. Well, you just really don't want this part attack. That don't even think so. Took a little bit off 80. Is he baiting him? Yep. Now you get that fast. Down and away. Situations with one on deck. Judge in the hole. And the 2 2. Bounce to third. Tane up. Mitchell Parker. Yes. Oh, Mitchell Parker coming in the dugout right after that. Oh, look. Maybe he's just mad at the glove for dropping the ball. That's what he's doing. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Look, it's emotion. The second. I you like the fact that he was showing emotion and wants to be better after an inning in oh, which he... There you go. Yeah. I like the fact that, you know, Vargas was in the background there. I, I don't know if you can tell at the end, but Verdugo going into second base, just running past it. A little different. See, so watch. He's like, oh, man. He's like... Da -da -da -da. One, but it's way off the plate, and that makes it way foul. Look out. Rocket by Chaparro, who, yes, sir, 11 for 41 in 11 games with three batted in, but he has a half dozen double. Came up with the, the Yankees, spent so many years in that system to be able, within the first couple weeks of, that one's well stroked out to right center. It's going to add to his double total. That thing hits right at the bottom of the wall. A strong young man. He doesn't get cheated. No, he does not. I, I love it. Little scissor kick on the back stays good. Foot down, back foot moves. It's a pretty swing. Nats need to be fundamentally sound here and at least get back even with the Yankees. K. Barrett right here. He's just safely nine of his last ten starts to the tune of nearly 270 and batting in seven runs. See what you're going to do up there. Well, and this isn't a bat here where they're going to try and buff. If you're a keeper, you have to make a decision here. You either look in and try and beat it to the spot and maybe hit a double down away and you do damage the other way. But either way, you got to have a plan. Pitch com issue for Cortez. Yeah, I mean, he lives on that cutter in off the plate, especially to righties. Keepers now have 24 7 access to MLB Network. Visit MLB.tv for sales. In the Nets catching core, bit of a transition. Like Drew Millis was already here after his call up while the Nets were in Atlanta. Stay with the plan. Ball flying toward the bullpen, and it's hauled in by Verdugo. Right 
knee. Fabulous play by their left fielder. Right, I mean, that was to your point. He beat him to the spot. He did exactly what you were talking about in that moment. Now, fly. You just have to be close enough to the base where if he does catch it, you can go back and get the third. Most important thing. I mean, it's that t it's his toes. It's like the, the bottom of his feet where it hits the, uh, the concrete. Looks but, like absolutely. But nobody out. You're hovering around that base. You cannot, especially with speed. You got to know your speed. Well, and then third with nobody out. Your whole goal with no outs on second base is to get to third base. You have to get to third base. And it's not an easy read. We're sitting up here acting like it's an easy read, but you would almost rather be closer to second than right there. That, that goes into all the pre-pitch, right? Like everything that you do. Have that plan. You have a plan. Exactly what we talked about. Hmm. I mean, it, the middle of the body, and then Franny brought up the point. Look where the padding ends. And down at the bottom. And, and, and these ballparks, no give at all. And uh, evidently, he's left his mark on the left field wall. Hopefully just bruised it or banged it. You don't obviously ever want to see anyone get hurt. So one out, Chaparro still at second. Juan Yepes is next. A couple of really good swings by the Nats here in the second. And don't forget, Wood lined out fairly hard to left, ending the first. Little things, you know, Mitchell dropping the ball gives them an extra out. Them not getting to third right there. Takes a scoring up. Little things that young teams need to learn to do well. And this one out to like that situation, nothing happens, but you never know, right? Because of. Well, I mean, if there's a runner on third with less than two outs, you go up to the plate with a completely different approach. And I'm not going to sit up here and kill the, kill the. And then what you hope is that the teammates start holding each other accountable. This isn't a Davy job. This is um, this is the standard. And yes, it's the standard. And, yeah, you know, we've both done it, so I'm not saying, like, right. I'm not trying to kill the kid, but it's just if you want to. Jose Tena, who's been great as a net, 14 for 39 already. Yeah, four, four for 10 versus left-handers this year, which is impressive. Deep center, and Judge reaching to the top of the wall in that notch out. It's oh, so close to a big inning and nothing to show. We got a one nothing ball game here at Nationals Park and Dylan Cruz of a time here at Nationals Park tonight. George, we always congratulate the ball player when he comes up to the big leagues, but I want to congratulate through all the hours of practice, taking him to youth ball games, all of that. So how does all of that in the, the big league feel? You know, it's just, it's just, it's just the coolest thing. I mean, you go through all the stuff, the hundreds of thousands of balls to this kid and, and then get to this point and he finally has you know, achieved his goal of being out here and I mean, this is awesome. Are there specific memories of his childhood that are jumped himself to this moment? I mean, all the things that he gave up, you know, in high school, um, as far as, you know, hanging on a travel tournament or practicing or had to work out or do things up, all the things that you sacrifice to come true and it's, you know, we're sharing and in this dream and uh you know we, we like again we could not be in a better situation we love it here you know as teenagers when they're playing youth ball you can tell that they're built physically different like say james wood it doesn't have that type of frame when did you guys know in his progression that he could be a professional athlete of sin i mean you go back again to when he started playing i guess he kind of started to separate himself with that you know, or you know the defensive progressions that he's made he's, he's become just an unbelievable outfielder but i mean you look at just last rochester i think it was the eighth inning they're down and you know he, he beat out a, an infield hit a routine ball to second base 100 miles an hour and that's what that's what you're going to see from him that's not going to change does that mentality come from that hair on fire approach that doing the little things sort of mindset where does he that's the way i'm in you're all in or you're all out you know and uh he's he's just dedicated himself to to being the city that may be i mean it's uh it's it's a lot of fun to to, to see the see that see him on this it happens it's like wow this is really really cool last question for you and then i'll get let you get back to watch that was that was a championship team that he was a part of there i'm sure there were others as he was younger that were winning teams 
does he possess that allow him to be not just as an individual a good player, but part of a winning team first and foremost is teammates.